Well, Lindy, the German Shepherd who was thrown off a Kansas City overpass, is finally with her forever family. 41 Action News has followed Lindy's story from the beginning. In February, Lindy was thrown over a Kansas City overpass. Luckily, she landed in a snowbank. Now, two incredible women found Lindy and rushed her to the vet. She didn't have any broken bones, but she had major damage to her front legs and mouth. Lindy underwent two major surgeries, paid for largely through donations. And since being released from the vet in June, she has been living with a foster mom. Now, this morning, we are getting to meet her brand new mom, Ann McNeil. And also here with us is Nancy Campbell of the Missouri German Shepherd Rescue a foundation or company or organization is also here with us. So we're glad to have all you with us. Thanks so much for coming, both of you, and for bringing Lindy. Lindy's pretty darn relaxed right now, just <laughs> kind of hanging out, sitting there, just enjoying the limelight. Look at you. I know that's you, isn't it? Yeah. She sat up and noticed that. That's pretty interesting. She saw herself in the monitor. So, Anne, you adopted Lindy. So tell us why. Um, well, I believe it was fate. She came into our lives, and we actually feel like the lucky ones to have her. So she's just, it's an amazing story that, mm -hmm. um, fortunately, um, she was rescued by all the people that donated money and time mm -hmm. and love. And, um, and now she's in your care? Yes. yes so is this, this a big daunting thing for you? Was it tough to make the decision to adopt? No, it just... It was right. It was fate. She, it was not something I was necessarily looking for. She just came to us. Did you follow her story? Did you know about Linda? Yes. How did she come to you? Yes. Um, actually, a client of mine told me about it when it happened. I didn't actually see it. And um, then about four months later, when they were doing a follow-up, my husband called me and said, we're adopting a dog. And I said, and, oh, that's the same dog. So, <laughs> so your husband's involved in this yes, as well. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So, Nancy... You know, being with the German Shepherd uh, Association, so tell us a little bit about how many people came to the rescue. I mean, Anne's the mom now and going to be in care, but a lot of people came to the rescue for this German Shepherd. There, there are literally hundreds, if not thousands, of people who donated and opened their hearts, and um, people sent everywhere from a dollar to a thousand dollars, and it was about 33 states and seven different countries, and all of those people. Without all those people, Lindy would not be here. Mm -hmm. She just wouldn't. And all of our volunteers, our incredible foster mom, Christy Rock, and her family, who did an incredible job keeping a big dog, young dog like this, quiet uh -huh. for four months <laughs> while she had her legs in splints oh and cast. Yeah. And the incredible vets at Blue Pearl, Dr. Um, Riley, and then Dr. Smith at Piper Heritage. There were so many people who were involved in this. And the two women who scooped her right up and got her to the vet, and then the McNeils showed up on, on the application process, and there were so many people who applied. It was a very tough decision, but the McNeils already have a German Shepherd, mm -hmm. and we felt that it was just the right fit. Oh, so your German Shepherd now has a new sister. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's how's that going? How's the match going? Are they um, liking each other? Or? It was instant. Within 24 hours, they were sharing a bed. Okay. So. <laughs> Which is, I don't know if that's rare or not. Yeah. Oh, well, that's it's pretty fast, good. Yeah. And so, obviously, there are other Lindys out there, perhaps yes. not as dramatic a situation, yes. but uh, that need help. In fact, last week, we just took in a dog named Delilah, who is going to require uh, one leg to either be amputated or major mm. surgery at MU. So, mm -hmm. we've already got the next Lindy uh, lined up for help. So, it, there seems to be no shortage. Yeah, so definitely people, if you want to help, you can don definitely donate uh, to the Missouri German Shepherd Association. Yes. And thank you so much for being the new mom and having now two German Shepherds to yeah. take care of, and I'm sure you're going to have twice the fun. Yes. So thanks so much for being here. <laughs>